Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? I'm here to talk about a product that has been very polarizing since it was announced. And the reason why I decided to talk about them again is because I do have my own opinions on it, but I began to see them pop up in my feeds a lot more recently. I'm talking, of course, about these, the Apple AirPods. Now, the AirPods have been showing up on a lot of audio websites. I do love having audio in my ears pretty much at any given moment during the day, and I tend to have something in my ear anyway. So when I'm constantly looking at truly wireless earbud comparisons, the AirPods never fail to be mentioned. The best truly wireless AirPods, parentheses, that are not the AirPods. <laughs> Top five AirPod alternatives. Or it might just even be a truly wireless earbud discussion and the AirPods just going to win no matter what. But it wasn't until I went on a couple of trips with these that I came to my revelation. The AirPods are Apple's most important product of the last couple of years. After all, I'm kind of not supposed to like these. The design is incredibly sterile and there are those polarizing features as well. The case itself is glossy, it's completely sterile white. Then you take the actual earbuds out of them and they stick out like sore thumbs. All of the different jokes that people used to make a couple years ago about toothbrush heads sticking out of your ears, uh, that I had to wrestle with for a little while. I generally like to have one earbud in so that I have a little bit of something going on in the background, but I still have the ability to be aware and to respond to people who are trying to call me. So with the AirPods in particular, when I had one of them in here, uh, my brother and a couple of my friends were already saying how ridiculous this was. By the way, when it comes to losing the AirPods or any truly wireless earbud, let me give you a tip. It's what I've done to make sure I don't lose any of my many pairs of truly wireless earbuds. When you take it out of your ear, you put it into the case. You don't take it out and leave it out somewhere else uh, where you might forget it's there or it might get brushed off and be lost forever. Put it back in the case. The sound coming out of the AirPods is nothing spectacular, but I will admit that I was a little bit surprised at how much better they sounded than the regular AirPods that you used to plug into your iPhones. And then the connectivity features are the best on the iPhone, which is where you also can use Siri. You know what? Let's not talk about that. So there's some really obvious reasons why these are a very polarizing product, but why are they Apple's most important product of the last couple of years? Simply put, these prove that Apple have the ingenuity that people think they have lost in their laptops and phones. Pushing aside the obvious style problems that do give it its own unique look and identity, the Apple AirPods actually have a lot of features that we still wish other truly wireless earbuds had. For one thing, you can use either of these on their own. You can put one in and then listen to everything for a number of hours. Once that runs out of battery, you throw it back in, get the other one out, and you can continue. This is a feature I wish more truly wireless earbuds had, uh, but normally what you get is one of them is the master where everything gets transmitted and then the other one is sort of like the slave where it gets audio routed to it if you put both of them in at the same time. But if you just wanna use one of them, it's gotta be the one side where everything happens. And then of course, if that thing runs out of battery, you gotta put it back in the case and wait for that one to charge up before you can continue listening to your content. And that's the other thing about the AirPods, it's the battery life. That's not to say that these have spectacular battery life, but using this case and using both of them at the same time for a total of five hours per listening time, you can get a full day's worth out of this. They claim 24 hours. But the thing that makes this case incredibly useful despite its sterile look is that 15 minutes of charging time can get you one hour of listening play back, and that is a charging time you don't get pretty much in any other truly wireless earbud. There's also some thought put into the usability of the earbuds themselves. You can go into the Bluetooth settings on an iPhone in particular and change what the double tap on either of these does. And it's easy to be able to play and pause content, uh, especially when you're using the iPhone because the sensors in each earbud are pretty sensitive. So once you move it a little bit away from your ear, it automatically knows it's not in your ear and that's when it pauses the content. And then it'll play it again when you put it back in. That last part is not really something you get when using these on an Android phone. So there are some real reasons why this product is not amazing, but there are some other reasons why they are kind of ingenious. And the final one is, I think, the main reason why we still see a lot of these in people's ears just walking around the street or in coffee shops. It's the microphones. Those bits that stick out of the AirPods actually isolate your voice pretty well, and it's able to make the other caller hear you loud and clear. This has been really important for me being in a long distance relationship because they are the most reliable, one of the most reliable microphones that I can use to go hands-free while on video calls with my girlfriend from the Philippines. And another thing the AirPods really benefit from is Apple's third-party support. There are so many accessories for these things and it's just a level of third-party support that we wish our Android phones had, uh, we wish that our other truly wireless earbuds had, but because this is Apple, everyone's clamoring to make little tools for them. 
And a few of them actually really fix the problems that I outlined at the beginning of this video. If you have a problem with the AirPods falling out of your head, then you have these little wingtips that you can just slip on when you take it out of the case. You gotta take them off to put the AirPods back into their cases, but that's a bit of a trade-off if it means you're not going to have these fall out of your ears at any given moment. And personally, I really don't like the sterile white look of the case, so I went ahead and got just like a little sleeve, a little silicone sleeve that I just put this into, and it also allows it to be a bit grippier because that glossy plastic uh, could end up slipping about a little bit too easily, and that's another reason why people say they lose the AirPods sometimes. So it's that level of thought that I believe a lot of truly wireless earbud manufacturers are still trying to capture. And that's why these products are the most important things that Apple has made, even if there are some things about them that we wish we could completely change. The best that we have right now is the one that I actually use on the regular. It's the Jabra Elite 65T. It has that master slave configuration, so I have to use the right earbud at all times. And this particular version of the 65T does not have fast charging, so when I put the earbud back into its case, I have to wait between an hour to an hour and a half for it to go back to a full charge. But it just seems like the combination of the best possible features of the AirPods is not really something that other truly wireless earbuds have been able to manage capturing. They might look a lot better, they might sound a lot better, but from a usability standpoint, Apple has been able to create a product that is one of the most useful first generation products of their kind. And that tells me that even though Apple has been getting a lot of flack for some of the choices that they've made in their products recently, like for example, their laptops no longer having MagSafe, the touch bar is not as useful as people hoped it would be, and even the heat issues that were happening recently, which led to the throttling of performance on the latest MacBooks, it shows that Apple is kind of trying to create perfect products in places where they've already established what is expected. But in a category where no one really knew what to expect, they were able to put some of that Apple ingenuity into this product and create something that people find incredibly memorable. The truly wireless earbud space is getting better and better, and I will admit it's probably because of the feedback that people have on these bad boys right here. Here's to hoping that the second version of the AirPods might have a little bit better design, improve on a lot of the stuff, but overall still have that level of Apple ingenuity and usability, because that's what people kind of miss out of the iPhone and out of the MacBook. It's not quite got that magic it's had in the past, but these, as a first generation product, seem to have that little spark. If you are an AirPod user, go ahead and get into the comment sections down below. Um, or if you're not, tell me what you actually use, what you prefer, and why you don't prefer the AirPods compared to the ones you use every day. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one. I do have a lot of stuff coming up in the next number of days, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel for all of that. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button, of course, but right next to it is that bell, so you can keep up with some really exciting announcements that are coming out over the next week. I think you know what I'm talking about. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and call it on this one, and I'll see you on my next video. And until then, I'll remind you to enjoy your tea, everybody.